Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Escalante. I've been contributing and advising Jeet for a while, and I work at a small company in New York called Carrot Creative. We're an agency that makes lots of websites for lots of different companies. Um, and Jeet is something that's been really useful to us, so I wanted to contribute in a screencast on the kind of flow that we like to use and how we like to incorporate Jeet with it. So first I want to take a look at a tool that I've been working on for a long time at the company called Roots. Roots is uh, a tool for building static websites and it's written in Node and that makes it very easy to bring in sort of stylus files and it makes Jeet a really natural fit uh, to go into a Roots pipeline along with a couple of other tools. So um, we've been working on a new release of Roots for a while. It's becoming a lot more stable so I'm going to demo that in this video just because it works particularly nicely with Jeet um, and you can see it at the version 3 branch if you're interested in checking this out. Um, so let's jump into the command line and create a new project. I'm just going to call this Jeet example. So as soon as I do this it should ask me a couple questions. Um, I'll just give some answers and it's going to create a folder. You can see it on my desktop and since this is a node project, if you've ever worked with node, you'll be familiar with the uh, npm install process where it just installs in some dependencies to get them ready. So jumping into this project, um, just going to take a very brief tour of the kinds of files that it's scaffolded out here for us. Basic readme, package.json, an essential file for node projects probably seen before. This one is very simple. This is not a full node package uh, intended to be deployed to npm, so it's just got the very basics and holds on to the, dep the dependencies that your project has. Um, here you can see we're using Jade. Uh, we're able to render Markdown. We are using Stylus, uh, CoffeeScript, and then we have a couple of libraries here that will help out with our CSS. Um, auto Prefixer Stylus, if you're familiar with Auto Prefixer, it goes through your style sheets and makes sure everything is prefixed. Uh, appropriately without you having to worry about putting them in. Um, Axis is a library that's built on top of Nib that you might have heard of before. Um, it's just a more, f it's an extension of Nib that has a bunch of nice utilities um, that get wrapped up as mix-ins that you can use. So we'll see how this can work together with Jeet to make uh, buildings, uh, basic layouts pretty easy. Uh, the last one we have here is called Rupture. This is a tool for building um, breakpoints essentially for using media queries. Um, and so you can see that there's a scale here that you can use uh, and figure out what your main breakpoints on your site are. Um, and there's very simple syntax like above and below where you can just drop in pixels. Just makes uh, media queries look a little bit nicer. So let's go take a look here in app.coffee. You can see that we just required in each of these files and uh, we're dropping them right into the stylus pipeline here inside of this array called use. Um, and so we can give Jeet the same treatment and we're going to do so in just a moment. Just looking quickly in assets, we'll jump into CSS where we're going to be focusing. Here you can see the very, very basics. Um, it imports this settings file here, which just has a couple of nice default colors, some good font stacks, uh, just the basic stuff that you're going to need anyway, keeping it into a settings file so that you can edit it all in one place. And we just have uh, very basic styles to ensure that things are working. So let's um, run Roots Watch, which will compile our site for us pop it open in a browser and then it will um, refresh whenever we make changes. So here's our site. Um, if we go back to the text editor, we will make a quick change just to verify that this is indeed working. We'll get rid of this little boilerplate and replace it with hello world. You can see that a little spinner popped up and it refreshed the page for us. So this is a really nice convenient way to develop um, and it works really nicely with Jeet in that you can just make changes and without having a tab back and forth you can immediately see those changes come up. So it makes it really smooth to uh, crank out static sites very quickly. Uh, that being done I'm going to stop the watcher and I'm going to run npm install jeet and make sure to save it so that it's available in package.json if someone else is working on our project. So this will take a moment, um, but while it goes, let's jump in here and give it the same treatment as everything else. So I'm going to do jeet equals require jeet and um, get rid of that. I'm going to align this up with everything else. And let's move auto prefixer to the end here um, just to make sure that it has covered everything and we'll add Jeet right in the middle. Um, it looks like it did just finish installing. We can verify this here. 
Um, so it sh we should be all set for making Jeet work with our project. Uh, the next thing to do is to actually import it into our file. So I'm just going to import Jeet here. And finally, I want to uh, do a little bit of work here. I'm going to drop this inside of a container, um, as we usually would, and we'll be able to center that container and uh, use our columns and rows inside of it. So let's get rid of this padding here. Um, we'll take the container, and we will say... Uh, we'll center it, which is a Jeet mixin that you're probably familiar with if you've checked out the documentation at 960. And we'll also toss on edit so that we're able to uh, see how these, these grids look. So closing this out, we'll run Roots Watch again to see our results. Give it a moment to uh, compile and pop up our site here. And you can see that very nicely it has highlighted this div, and we are centered at 960. Um, and this will scale down really nicely. So we have Jeet in and working alongside all of our other tools that we need, which is really a nice workflow. Um, I want to show a little bit more of Jeet, but I didn't want to waste your time just writing out code that you've seen in other videos. So um, I've prepared a, another example, which you might have seen on my desktop, so that we can skip the monotony of just watching me write stylus. Um, so I'm going to check that out right now and then explain what I've done. Here's the finished example. So here it is. Um, you can see that the package JSON is no different. Um, you can see that this setup is no different as well. And in here, we just have slight, slight differences. Um, we still have the container with the centered, but we've tossed in a sidebar and a main section to our site, which you can see in the Jade file here is just some very simple navigation um, and a little markdown block um, of text. And you can see that this little piece is bolded, just to show that we can actually render Markdown right into the browser. It's a very nice way to write text uh, rather than manual HTML. So let's see how this looks. We'll run Roots Watch and uh, let this compile for a moment. And here we are. So this is a pretty basic looking site. We have the navigation links on the left. We have a paragraph on the right. And I've used a little bit of code combining, um, combining here a few pieces from Jeet. Um, we're using Rupture here, and we're using Axis, so everything that's been available to us we're taking advantage of in order to make this a very nice looking mobile site once we drop down below this breakpoint. You can see a bunch of changes are made. First of all, they stack on top of each other. Second of all, this goes from a vertical navigation, like you can see here, to horizontal. And third of all, it centers itself here. So very, very basic, straightforward mobile site. Um, and we've done this pretty easily using Jeet and a couple of other tools. And it's been really nice that this pipeline has allowed us to be able to use them together so quickly and easily. Um, so just taking a quick look at what we've got here. The sidebar, we are setting up to be a column that takes up a third of the uh, space here, like you can see. Um, there's a transition on it just to give it that nice effect. Um, certainly not necessary, but it looks smooth when you're resizing. Um, here we're using Rupture, um, which like you can see, uh, you have mix-ins that just abbreviate media queries. So we're saying as soon as it gets below 600 pixels on the screen width, um, this is another Jeep mix-in, we're going to stack them up so that will get rid of the column and just have them stack vertically. In addition, we're taking the uh, navigation list and we're transferring it from a regular list to an inline list. This is an axis mix-in that you can find. And each of the items are going to be separated by 15 pixels, uh, a little bit of padding. And then we're going to recenter that list. In the, main, uh, in the main area, it starts by default as a two-thirds column, which you can see here works very nicely um, across any screen size. Um, and all we're doing here is we're going to stack it uh, vertically as soon as it gets below 600. So again, you guys can see that this works very nicely. And you can build this out to create very, very complex systems um, very, very quickly and with um, not very much code at all. So having, having Jeet in this kind of pipeline is really excellent. It provides a great tool to be able to um, set up websites very quickly and, and wireframe them out and make sure that the layout is super solid and, and looks great. So highly recommended. Definitely check out Jeet. Definitely check out Roots and some of these tools that you can use with it. And I hope you guys enjoy.